Kitchen with Chef Von Sean. <laughs> you like my hat? Huh? You in the kitchen with Chef Von Sean. <laughs> you know I had to do it. I had to let you know what it's all about. You in the kitchen with your favorite chef, Chef Von Sean. Now, today is gonna be a perfect day. How many of you all like my salmon, my stuffed salmon? Okay. How you doing, cuz? Is the music good? Tell me, is the music good, Queen? All right, all right. You like the hat, cuz? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Chef Von Shine, we're gonna be, yeah, we're gonna be getting Chef Von Shine across the hat. Chef Von Shine with the aprons. I have, let me tell you, I got some good news for you, cuz. I'm glad that you watch. So, this company is who I've been networking with. I just got off a Zoom meeting with this company right here. They're called Junior Billionaires. This is a magazine, and they, uh, they're promoting uh, different businesses for different entrepreneurs, for young entrepreneurs. Uh, so if you have kids, I know you don't have any kids, cuz, but for all that have kids, if you want your, if your kids are doing anything positive, this company is Junior Billionaires, it's a magazine, but if your kids have whatever, good grades, anything of that sort, they'll put it in their magazine, cuz this is a nonprofit organization, but if your kid has something that you feel is marketable, that you wanna be able to promote, this would be an ideal company for you all to be able to network with. The information is here. Uh, it's a nonprofit organization, but this is about being able to uh, 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 invest into your kids. Right now, with this pandemic going on, you have sat there, watched your kids do different things. Those pictures you all have been taking, this can all turn your kids into maybe uh, models, uh, entrepreneurs doing absolutely anything. This, for all that are watching right now, this is ideal. How you doing, Miss Henshaw? This is actually be a good uh, magazine for you to be able to invest into your uh, daughters uh, with uh, gymnastics. They could be able to get some of their uh, gymnastics inside of here. How you doing, Miss Carter? You can also get some of your uh, kids in here as well. What's going on, Brother Boosie? You can get your kids. This is about the kids. This is a company where you all could be able to invest in your kids, okay? This is the company I've been networking with. They have a uh, magazine, and then the owner, she also has a uh, Roku channel, which is SWTV, which is what Chef Von Shawn is going to be on, okay? Won't he do it? Won't he do it? So, SWTV, Smile World, Smile World TV, it's a Roku channel. That's what Chef Von Shawn is going to be on. So, we're working up different ideas and working on content. So, that's what I've been doing. I just got off a Zoom meeting with them. They're going to be amazing people. So for all that want to be invested into that, also maybe potentially putting their kids on the SWV, uh, SWTV channel, network with Chef Von Shine. We're going places. <laughs> Won't he do it? Won't he do it? Now, to let you all know what we're going to do today, we're going to make street fish tacos, okay? On the fly. We're going with whatever we got in the kitchen. Hey, we're going to make it happen. You with Chef Von Shine. I'm going to speed this up like I always say, but it may take me a little time. But remember what I said in the beginning. That was uh, Junior Billionaire Magazine and also SWTV. That's what Chef Von Shine is going to be on. But as always, what we got to do, ladies and gentlemen, wash them hands, okay? Wash them hands. Won't he do it? How everybody doing out there? Chef Von Shine is working on some things. I am going to be on SWB TV, Smile World TV. Won't he do it? That's what I'm saying. Blessings. Blessings. Won't he do it? How you doing, Miss Kill Plenty? That is her name. <laughs> her name is Mrs. Kill Plenty. She's a part of the uh, Cinewala tribe. I keep trying to say it, Miss Kill Plenty. I know I'm saying it right, but I'm sorry. Shout out to the Sioux tribe. I'm at least getting some of it right. It's the Sioux tribe out of North Dakota. Okay? Did I get it right that time? Hopefully I did, Miss Kill Plenty. Listen, shout out to all the Native Americans out there. Uh, so, now we're going to do street fish tacos. Remember, Chef Von Shine is going to be on SWTV. Won't he do it? Won't he do it? All right. This is that Atlantic salmon from yesterday. Okay. So what I'm going to do is it has the skin on it. So I'm going to fillet the meat away from the skin. Then I'm going to um, uh, ground it off, season it up. But I'm going to take the skin and I'm going to crispy it up and I'm going to crunch it up and I'm going to make that as a garnish as well. Won't he do it? All right. See, that's a little difference that I like to be able to do with my fish tacos. Mind you, I'm going to do this all from scratch. So, to give you the ingredients for your uh, a good taco seasoning from scratch would be salt, pepper, cumin, 
chili powder, but see to substitute the chili powder, I'm gonna use ground coriander, okay? Ground coriander is an awesome substitute, and also what I'm gonna do is substitute that as well as put a little smoked paprika. I wanted to be able to get a little smokiness to it. I'm gonna use it also a little bit of accent, black pepper, and salt, okay? Then also to kick it up a notch, I'm gonna put a little bit of that champion chicken in it, so that way I can get away from that fishy taste that a lot of people just be like, I don't like that Chef Von Shine. I understand, I got you. That's why to knock off that fishy taste to do fish tacos, we can put a little champion chicken on it. Then also I'm gonna put a little bit of this granulated chicken. <laughs> Won't he do it? See, imagine, I'm telling you, I see these hats. Chef Von Shine and the apron is going. <laughs> hey, SWTV, start looking out for me on that as well as subscribe to my YouTube channel. Chef Von Shine, okay? Won't he do it? Won't he do it? Now, because sometimes I might be reporting live out the trenches or reporting out of the kitchen. So, to give you all of that, oh, to top it off as well, I'm gonna use a little bit of sweet relish. I'm gonna also use a little bit of spicy nacho. I mean, I like to use a little sweet and spicy so that way I can give you two different kicks. That way we get that unami. Unami is a savory spice uh, balance of between sweetness and uh, spiciness. Won't he do it? All right. Also, you know, I'm gonna use a little bit of both of these cheeses to make a balance of a different cheese. Uh, use spinach, the spinach that I had left over from yesterday. I'm also gonna use a little bit of the green onions as well. I'm gonna top it off with a few of different bell peppers, etc. And then also I'm gonna use some of these uh, corn uh, short tortilla shells to be able to cook it off and make you all those phenomenal street tacos that you love so much. If you haven't tried fish tacos, <laughs> well, you're gonna try them today. Okay, won't he do it? Was that enough for the intro so you can understand what we're doing today? All right, follow me, all right? So, mind you, back to the Atlantic Salmon. Now, yesterday, I had a... Uh, yesterday, I was trying to show you all. This was the knife I was looking for, okay? So when I was trying to show you all about that particular cut, uh, as you can see, why this knife would be more ideal for me to be able to get inside of here and fillet it and do whatever it is that I was wanting to. It's not too long. And it's not too big. I had to end up doing it with this knife and just imagine, but you know, we still made it happen. You saw the picture. So that was, that was all about, but this was the knife I was looking for. Use a paring knife if possible. But with this particular thing, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fillet it. So I'm gonna start at this end with the knife and just pull it. I'm gonna wash my hands so I can move this down so you all can see it. I like to be able to show you all what's going on. Mind you, I had fish on this hand. I'm gonna get something else because I don't want to get fish everywhere. Ugh, we don't want that smell everywhere. All right, Chef Bonchon, I got you. Just stay in tune. Because the way that I'm finna fillet this fish, this is actually the ideal way to do it, you all. Excuse me. Excuse me. All right. Got it? All right. So there we go. Now, so, so with, with this particular dish, now what I'm going to do is I would have preferred to use a paring knife, but hey, we're going to do it. Because won't he do it? So what I'm going to do is this very end, right here, I'm going to start with it. Give me a little, give me a little bit of room in there. <sighs> get up under there. Let's see if I'm trying to get up under there. Hold on, man. All right, so listen. From here, got me a little space up under there. I'm gonna grab this skin. I'm gonna grab, ah. Hold up, hold up. All right, well, I'm gonna just flip it over so I can get a better idea of what I'm doing. All right, so, as you can see, like so, excuse me. All we're trying to do is just get this little bit of skin off here. That little bit of skin gonna have a nice uh, hit of uh, fat inside of it, which is why I'm gonna be able to crispy it up a lot. Ah, boy, well, make sure you get a sharper knife. I should have, uh, I should have sharpened my knife so I can get a, I want it to cut real fine. I don't wanna see like this. I do not wanna, I wanna be able to get as much of that off of there as possible. That's the ideal thing about it. So, that's why that knife is so important. All right, hold on. See, that's what I'm saying. I mean, mind you, I could have had all this done, but I wanted to show you all how it all happens. The knife is not working today, okay? All right. Won't he do it? Won't he do it? All right, let me see so. <sighs> Trying to get this skin off. As you can see, as you can see, I'm having complications because of my knife. That's the reason why it's so ideal to use a paring knife, okay? So therefore, you can be able to get up under this a lot easier. Ugh. Oh, come on now, salmon. 
All right, we're gonna try from this other hand now. Let's go from there. Cause won't he do it? All right, let me see. Let me see something. I gotta get up on it. I gotta get you guys going. I'm trying to look in a minute. I'm about to just go with the skin and let it make it. You know what? Chef Von Shine gotta make it happen. I was trying to get this skin off. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just lay it down with the skin side up and then I'm gonna let it cook off and then I'm gonna just fillet it off from there. Cause I gotta speed things up. I know y'all like Chef Von Shine, we gotta know. We need to hurry up and see what this gonna do. So that's why I like to do things on the fly. It may happen like that in the kitchen. And when it happens, I want you all to see what happens, okay? All right, so got our hands washed. I'm gonna grab the back of that so you all don't think that, hey, Chef Von Shine gonna keep his hands washed. All right, so, so since that knife wasn't done, I like to do it just like that because things happen in the kitchen. And when it happens, we got to be on the fly. We don't have time to sit here and be complicated like, what's going on? No, we're not going to panic. Hey, because won't he do it? Won't he do it? I ain't got time, <laughs> but I got time today. All right. So I'm going to speed this up because at the end of the day, this is what it's all about. So I'm going to set my temperatures at a medium high heat. And what I'm gonna do at this particular point is, I'm going to just go ahead and lay the fish side down, and then I'm gonna use my knife to go ahead and just scrape off the skin, because later on I'm gonna use this skin, I'm gonna fry it off, sear it off, and like I told you before, I'm gonna crumble it up and use it as garnish to give it a little bit of a crunch. So, usually, uh, like I said, with my paring knife, which is what I would've actually uh, preferred to utilize, would've made it a lot easier. This is ideal to show you why it's so important to understand which knives you are using and the purpose of those knives, okay? Now, wait till our grease get up to a nice uh, medium high heat temperature because we gotta make sure we wait so therefore we get everything done. So while we're waiting on it, I'll get other things prepared. So with that being said, I'm gonna go ahead and cut up my uh, green onions, as well as my peppers. I'm gonna get a few other things, but if you all have been following me, then you should know how to be able to get your knife cuts. But for those that's probably just now tuning in, I'm gonna show you the knife cuts as well. Chef Von Shine, I got you. Yeah, so basically what I'm gonna have to do now is, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna get a different uh, cutting board. Utilize a different cutting board. We do not want to cross contaminate our cutting boards. So therefore this cutting board right here, it already has fish on it. So I'm just going to sit it to the side while I wait for my grease to get ready. And I'm going to go ahead and show you the different knife cuts with the different peppers and onions. But if you've been following Chef Von Shine, then you should know. So this is for those that's just now tuning in. Okay. So for all my kings and queens out there that's just now getting familiar with Chef Von Shine, I will be on the SWTV channel, that's Smile World, Smile World TV. I also have a uh, YouTube channel, Chef Von Shine, so please like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm, uh, I'm trying to give you all this information that it cost me a lot. When I went to culinary school, I spent a lot of money to get all this information. So for all my kings and queens out there, hey, hey, trust me, school is expensive. You all know that, and they want their money. For that, for them, for that, for that, uh, for that little loan they gave me, they want their money back. So that's what we're finna do now. We're gonna get that channel established so that way we can get that money to them. So what I'm gonna do now is cut off these green onions. Green onions is always ideal to be able to go with street tacos. For one, just to the color of them. So whenever I cook off my, uh, when I cook off my uh, tuna, it's gonna have just that, it's, it's gonna have a different, the, uh, the green onions also add a little bit of color. It's gonna add a little light to it. All right, all right, let's jump on, Sean, I got you. How y'all doing out there? I'm sorry, everybody, I'm trying. How you doing, Miss Goodwin, uh, Mrs. Reed? How everyone is doing, Mr. Hudson? We're gonna make uh, street tacos tonight. So, follow me. Chef Von Shine gonna be on the SWTV. For all that are like, uh, that's watching, please like and subscribe my YouTube channel because we're doing big things. Okay, get that music going. There it go. All right, hopefully the music is not too loud. Hopefully you all can uh, stay tuned in. So did you all like that stuffed tuna? That was amazing. That stuffed tuna yesterday, I mean, excuse me, salmon. Oh man, that stuffed salmon was amazing. If you all like that, and that meatloaf. That meatloaf, and I'm gonna I'm uh, show you all that plate up that I did for that uh, stuffed pasta as well. 
it was good too, okay? So, now my grease is nice and hot, medium high heat temperature. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and throw my uh, salmon in now so that way we can uh, take off a little bit of that skin. Follow me, you with Chef Armstrong? All right, y'all ready? All right, so let's go. Now, let's go back to the salmon. Wow. Let's get that round of applause. Okay, now. So, while this is going on, let me get let me get a paper towel so I can get this for you all, okay? All right, Chef Ron Shine got you. I want you to be able to be all the way in tune. So, basically, what I'm gonna do right now from here is this. I'm gonna take this skin and I'm gonna take it off. I'm gonna take this skin off and then later on I'm gonna sear it off as well, try to cook it off so therefore I could be able to use that uh, skin, crunch it up and create some garnish with it. Follow for Chef Ron Shine, I got you. Yeah, this is, and it once I cook it off, that skin has a nice layer of fat up under it. So it, it actually just slide itself off once it's cooked off. So we just gotta be a little patient. And once it's cooked off, I'm gonna spread it out. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna season it up with all of these beautiful different seasonings I already told you about. Smoked paprika. I'm gonna utilize a little bit of this granulated chicken seasoning. That's just to knock off that fish flavor. Accent, is this music too loud? Okay, okay, Miss Can. All right, listen, hey, stay in tune with Chef Vanshan. All right, so we putting a little bit of black pepper in there as well, ground coriander. We're gonna use a little ground cumin. We're also gonna use some of this champion chicken as well. This champion chicken is gonna knock off that fishy taste as well. But some people just don't like that fishy taste, and I get it. So when you eat Chef Vanshan kitchen, you gonna say, is this chicken? Uh-uh. That's Atlantic salmon. All right, so. All right. So listen, that's what I'm gonna do for you all. Now I'm gonna take this knife so I can get a little bit more under that skin. Now it's gonna work. Now we peel it. There we go. There we go. That's what Chef Von Shine wants. This is what Chef Von Shine wants. Get up off that. Get up off of that. Hold on. So this sometimes it's science. Sometimes Chef Von Shine gotta bring out that science. Sometimes I gotta let the science be what it is. You with Chef Von Shine, just be a little patient. You want that hat too and that apron? Stay in tune. You gotta subscribe to my YouTube channel and you can get all that. Hmm. Only do Let me flip this salmon around for y'all. Hold on. <laughs> nah, I ain't gonna do it. Cause I don't want the, the last thing we want is the salmon to hit the floor. They gonna be like, look at Chef Von Shine. <clears throat> Didn't he do it? It is on the ground and we ain't gonna eat it. Nah, I ain't gonna do it. We are not gonna mess this up. Not today. But I do need the skin though. I do need to get the skin off of that. Now, Jamal, we should just be able to pull it. Woo! See? See, right now, by this still being, it's still, it's trying to cook. The more I allow it to cook, the more it'll be easier for me to pull off. So at this point, I'm, I'm fine, I'm fine with that. I just need the skin to get off. Mind you, like I said, if I'd have had my parent knife, then we just could've got, we should've been able to just go right up under that skin and just pull the skin back and get it off. But hey, won't he do it? See what I'm saying? Man, it never fails. Never fails. People always wanna call me right now. Why call me now? I ain't talk to you all day. You won't be talking to Chef Ron Shine. Not right now, I'm in the kitchen. I'm in the kitchen. All right, let me get a point of this skin. I know y'all like Chef Von Shine, who's trying to get to it? All right, hold on for one second, I got it. All right, all right. Now, so you all can see what, I'm, what I was, the point of this was to fillet it, okay? To get the, to get the meat off of there, but hey, well this, this, this salmon, I'm trying to speed it up. I should have just filleted it like I wanted to, but hey, my point was to get the meat off of the skin. I'm still gonna do it, won't he do it? 
You only do it. That was the objective to show you all sometimes in the kitchen, hey, there's no need to get frustrated. There's no need to get yourself worked up. We'll figure it out, okay? Mind you, we have an objective. We don't let nothing take us away from our objective in the kitchen, all right? When you with Chef Von Shine, listen, won't he do it? That's the point I'm saying that. We're going to figure something out. But as a will, there's a way. Won't he do it? All right. So, we got as much of that off as possible. All right, I'm fine with that. Just got a little bit of skin left on it. But basically what I needed was that anyway. Let me wash my hands real quick. You wish up my son, you know we gotta wash some hands. So that's that's what I was saying. The objective was that, okay? We needed to get the meat off, okay? Now, y'all are like, all right, Chef Bonshine, that took a lot. But hey, sometimes it be like that. It's time, time, time is everything. Patience, patience and passions is everything we get in the kitchen with Chef Bonshine. We're gonna put those green onions in there. All right. Let me get a paper towel so I can grab this and show you all what's going on. All right. New kitchen with Chef Von Shine. So, got my green onions in there. Got my salmon in there. So from here, let me go ahead and get my seasons working. Now, this is where the magic happened. Now, I could have all uh, measured this out to get you exactly what I was trying to get to, but hey, I like to dance in the kitchen, okay? I like to dance. So, with that being said, come with my granulated sugar. I mean, excuse me, granulated chicken seasoning to knock off a little bit of that uh, fishiness. Smoked paprika. Smoke it up, bop, bop, okay? Little accent. <laughs> to give it a look, I like things to accentuate. That's why we add the accent, okay? Ground coriander, this is amazing with taco seasoning, uh, chili seasoning, ground coriander, this is a good go-to. See, won't he do it? And this is also a good time, I gotta show you why I do this. I only take away, cause this is not a season I'm gonna use all the time. So I just only take off a little bit of the lid to keep that fresh. Boom. All right, a little bit of my champion chicken. This is from uh, Pit Boss. Champion chicken, this is amazing. Uh, Mr. Whitfield, if you're watching, that was what I was trying to uh, show you the other day. All right, now we're gonna add a little ground cumin. Cumin, if you go to your local market and just smell cumin, ooh, you be like, this smell like taco seasoning. This smells like chili. Ground cumin, ground cumin, ground cumin. And you can manipulate different seasonings from scratch if you utilize ground cumin, if that's what you were going for, okay? Uh, now a little bit of this sea salt. Okay, and then also this black pepper. I know that's a lot of different seasonings, but hey. So to sum that up, that was ground coriander, ground cumin, champion chicken, accent salt, smoked paprika, uh, granulated chicken bouillon, little sea salt, black pepper. Won't he do it? Okay. Now. Oh, and a little bit of uh, oregano. Let's get, use our knuckles. Use a little bit of oregano. Or Italian season, we gotta go. Oregano would've been ideal, but I gotta hurry up. Cause you guys like Chef Von Sean make it happen. Now, this would've been a good idea time for me too to also uh, uh, put some lime juice in here. Make me up a good pico de gallo. So let's break off this a little bit, okay? How many of y'all like pico de gallo? Pico de gallo. Pico de gallo or cilantro. How many of y'all like cilantro? Yeah. So you didn't know Chef Vance should uh, speak a little Espanol. Yeah. Won't he do it? Won't he do it? So, basically what I'm doing is this with the salmon. I'm browning it up like anyone would. Seasoning it up as if though anyone would. And so from here, of course, I have my browning along with that. Now, also, if you all saw my uh, uh, cooking show when I was showing you all the beef tacos that I made, this also would be a good ideal time for me to add the uh, beef chorizo. Beef chorizo is good, okay, amazing. Now, I'm gonna wash my hands for after that, but I'm just saying, it's good, right? All right, <laughs> won't he do it? Won't he do it? Now, but like I said, so, we're doing fish tacos, and to knock off that fish flavor, we wanna incorporate different things, like chicken, that's fine. Uh, chicken is a good playoff of uh, anytime you want to, uh, you know, take away that fishiness. So people could be like, oh, what was that? Was it chicken? What was that, Chef Von Shine? Just chill out. It was salmon. They were like, that wasn't salmon, Chef Von Shine. I'm telling you what it was. All right. So now that I got it good and browned up, mind you, this is, uh, this is salmon, so I don't need it to get it too dry. 
You don't want to overcook it. Huh? I'm only do it. Now, mind you, also with this dish, I could have also, uh, if I wanted to, I could have made it into fajitas, etc. I could do anything I want at this point because I'm the chef. And so are you. You in the kitchen with Chef Von Shine. So when you're in the kitchen with Chef Von Shine, we create and we think on our own. Okay? So at this point, we got this nice and browned off. We got our green onions. That's all been seared off. So now we got to worry about a little bit of garnishing, okay? We got that good, nice and warm. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make me some grease. Put this over here a little medium high heat. I'm going to show you how much grease. Let me grab this napkin. Stay with me, stay with me. Chef on shine, got you. All right. Put me a little bit of grease in here. Cause this skin, now I'm finna go ahead and uh, put that skin in there, fry it off, sear it off. So like I said, that way whenever I wanna garnish my taco, I'm gonna garnish it with the skin that we uh, took off. So like I said, it's gonna have that crunchiness. And you know, skin got a little fat to it. So it's gonna have its own flavor as well. Look at it like fish bacon or fish uh, cracklings, <laughs> so to speak. All right, all right, won't he do it? Hey. Say Joe Wayne and put some respect on it. Hey, mama, if you're watching, your son is in the kitchen. And won't he do it? I'm going to be on the SWV, uh, SWTV channel. Smile World TV. That's a Roku channel. Uh, I've been networking with those lovely people all day. Uh, they're the ones that's helping me with uh, different, getting my apparel together, uh, getting just my brand up. Yes, SWTV. And then also Junior Billionaires. The uh, CEO of that company is... Uh, She's a beautiful woman and she's working with me. She has a lot of companies. I can't name them all off. She has a ton of things. So if you guys have podcast ideas you want to be involved in, if you want to get your kids YouTube channels, uh, just different things that you want to be able to do, this company is a beautiful company. It's, uh, it's, uh, they, they have a beautiful team. Um, she works with iHeartRadio, World Star Hip Hop, uh, just absolutely a lot of different entities. I can't even think of, I mean, I, I'm, I'm, it's, it's so much. So this is, if you all want to make sure that you get your young kings and queens investing into something, the Young Billionaire Magazine, that's a company to look forward to, uh, especially because now you're going to see my children as well as myself on that magazine and on the SWTV channel. So that's Smile World TV. And like I said, subscribe to my YouTube channel. We going places. Chef Von Shine going to take you to, <laughs> we going to go places. But let me get this together for you all, okay? I know y'all like Chef Von Shine. Hurry up. So to, with that knife cut with the peppers, we cut off one end, we come back and we cut the other end. Then I'm gonna come back, cut, cut another piece right through the middle. Then I'm gonna bring it around like so. Bring it around like so just to get the seeds out. So at this point, that's what we just did. We just de-seeded a bell pepper, okay? So just to make sure that you follow me on that was this. I cut off the top end, then I cut off the bottom end, very small, then I came through from the middle cut, and then I rounded it off, cleared it out, so therefore we can get the seeds out. Okay, that's how you de-seed the pepper, real quick. Now, I'm not gonna utilize all of this, but hey. But like, the reason why I like to go for these peppers right now is because it's fall, and these have just fall color. So just to make it sexy, just to throw, them, not only colors, but it's flavor as well, this is sweet. These peppers are actually sweet, so when I actually add the jalapenos to it, it's gonna uh, give it that unami I was telling you about, the sweetness and the spicy that we're going for, okay? All right, so listen. So we're doing a small dice with these uh, peppers. So I'm gonna come back. Mind you, like I said, it's fall. So we're gonna be able to cut off with these fall colors just to incorporate something. All right, see, mind you, watch me come back around like so back around like so see that's what it's all about just being able to easily de-seed it so therefore we can get right to this cut that's all it is I know you all probably you know struggle with our uh, bell peppers but it ain't nothing to it just doing that simple little cut right there these are not these knife cuts are to where we can move fast in the kitchen but move sufficient as well because we work smart not hard all right you a chef on shine I got you I got you. So, at this point, like you see, I mean, now we got uh, orange, a little yellow, and now also, now you're gonna see with this red, and uh, incorporating a little bit of red to it, we gotta make it fancy. Cause you in the kitchen with Chef Von Shine. We're doing fish tacos, for all that's just tuning in right now. I'm trying to get some garnishing for you all, so I can make it uh, nice. Especially when in the kitchen with Chef Von Shine, you know how I gotta 
take it up a notch. Why? Won't he do it? Won't he do it? All right, so. Uh, chop this up. Get this going for you all. So y'all can be like, Chef Von Sean, be ready to see it. So I got a, I have a ton of color here. This is color. This so therefore I can garnish it up, make it nice and sexy, and uh, give you what you want. You and Chef Von Sean, you know I gotta cater to you and make sure that you get exactly what you want. So now, since we've done that, now it's gonna be a good idea time for me to go ahead and uh, get that skin going. So skin side down. Would it be a good idea I cut the heat on? I mean, cut my fire on, I turned it off. So now we gotta wait, see? What we're gonna do in the meantime is wash our hands. Things happen in the kitchen, and when it happened with Chef Von Shine, you'll be the first to know, okay? All right, so, with that being said, you all gotta make sure that you pay attention to Chef Von Shine and wash them hands, okay? Won't he do it? All right, hold on, skin side down on the salmon. Skin side down on the salmon, hey, when you with me, we gonna make it happen. So, now, got my hot, uh, uh, I'll set on heat, medium high heat. What I'm gonna do is let that grease get back to where I need it to, skin side down so therefore I can get that garnishing going. But, as you can see, now I got some peppers going. I'm gonna utilize this uh, sweet relish, as well as the, uh, uh, some jalapenos, that way, Whenever I, when it comes together, you're gonna to get everything, like I said, sweet, spicy. The smoked paprika is gonna give you a, a hit of smokiness. I mean, we have a lot of different flavors happening right now, and that's how we get the unami. Unami, we're going for sweet, spicy, and savory all at the same time. Won't he do it? <laughs> Won't he do it? What they got to say out there? How you doing, Miss Sharp? Make me hunk, making me hunk? Okay, we are doing fish tacos, street tacos. Now, I could have utilized the different things because a lot of people do fish tacos and they add a lot of lime. I would have rather had lime, but mind you, we're going with what we have in the kitchen. Okay, so that's what I had in the kitchen. That came from yesterday's dish. So, you know, sometimes I want, I want you all to understand, we don't got to run to the store. We just got to make sense of what we're doing and go from there. So with that being said, we've already browned it off our uh, salmon. We've already got green onions in it. So we're good. We sit pretty. We put all our spices in it for all you that's tuning in. I utilize uh, sea salt, black pepper, champion chicken, ground uh, coriander, cumin, accent salt, and smoked paprika. That was my uh, blend of spices that I utilized. Um, the only thing that I took out of there would have been typical in the taco seasoning was uh, chili powder. But hey, but that's the reason why I substituted the uh, ground coriander and uh, the smoked paprika for it. To, Cause I wanted to be able to get my own uh, flavor. So therefore, when you taste mine, you're like, ooh, Chef Von Shine, this, this is a different type of taco seasoning. I know, cause I, I, I took out of the chili powder and made my own uh, powder with the uh, smoked paprika and the uh, ground coriander. Only do it. All right, now we should be sitting pretty with this grease. Let's see. Okay, good. See, that's what we want. We want to hear that. All right. So now I can even crank this up a notch because I really want this to hurry up. All right. So. With that being said, I'm going to let that fry off as much as I need to. It's fine. It's sitting pretty. Everything is okay. Now, what would be an ideal time for me to do now is get my uh, get my uh, corn tortillas cooked off. The way I like to do this, put them in a skillet with some butter and do that. And then if I wanted to make nachos, I could have deep fried them. If you saw my uh, tutorial with the uh, white chicken chili, that's all I did. I took some uh, white corn tortillas, cut them up and then uh, deep fry them. And then also you can, at that point, you can add different seasonings to that and make your own chips from scratch. See? Well, at home, that ain't from scratch because we didn't make these from scratch, but close enough. We, close enough. So, hey, let that sit pretty, let that go. So now I need to give me a skillet so therefore I could be able to butter these up and get that together. But that's pretty much it. I mean, the objective today was to show you all you can make a taco seasoning from scratch and utilize whatever we can get out of the kitchen, which is the salmon from yesterday's dish. I only used that thicker portion of it so I could cut into it and uh, stuff it. Because, of course, that smaller, that thinner part of it, I wasn't going to be able to utilize it. But we don't let nothing go to waste. So yesterday I did a smoked salmon. I mean, excuse me, stuffed salmon. Used the thicker part of it, stuffed it, and then the rest of it is what we're doing today to make uh, fish tacos. Money do it. I could have did whatever else I wanted to. I could have smoked that salmon, 
and uh, gave you all smoked salmon. I, I've even tried smoked uh, bacon salmon or salmon bacon. I forget the name they had for it, but it was good. Uh, it was smoked and it was good. So uh, I've, I've increased my heat up here so I can uh, be able to make sure that this skin get more crisp as I would like. So yesterday, whenever I was doing the uh, smoked salmon, I mean stuffed salmon, sorry, uh, I laid the skin side down first. So that way uh, we can get the skin crisp. Anytime that you're utilizing salmon and you want to be able to utilize uh, the skin aspect of it, make sure you crisp that bottom part first. So that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing. So while that's happening, like I said, oh, let me get that, uh, let me go ahead and bake these off, I mean, uh, cook these uh, corn tortilla shells off for you. But for the cheese spice, I'm gonna uh, add this Mexican style taco cheese blend, and I'm gonna also add this Monterey Jack cheese, because it has a little bit of jalapeno with it. Both of these have taco seasonings and a little bit of jalapeno to give it a little bit more of a spice, a little bit more of a kick that I want. Okay, and then just to make it a little bit more vibrant, I'm gonna add a little bit of this, uh, woo. <laughs> oh, yeah. That grease popped my back. Now, won't he do it? Hey, watch out now. Now, <laughs> won't he do it? But listen, this ch uh, cheese blend, I'm gonna act actually uh, put that on there as well. And then I'm gonna use this secret sauce. This uh, smokehouse secret sauce, mind you, we're going with sweet, spicy, and a little bit of smokiness as well. So that smoked paprika with this secret sauce and this smoked flavor as well, get us all the way together. Then of course, we're gonna utilize some sour cream as well as some spinach. I'm gonna utilize the spinach from yesterday as well instead of just any lettuce. But I would have ideally liked to use some sort of mixed spring lettuce. Mind you, like I said, we over here waiting for this skin to get nice and crisp. That skin is nice and crisp. So, let me get this going, but we gotta wash our hands as always. See, Chef Hashago, make sure you wash them hands. And make sure that you use a non-scented soap when you wash your hands. Cause the scented soap, if you use scented soap, it'll get inside your product. And that's why a person will be like, ooh, this tastes like soap. I know, because they use some strong, strong scented soap. Okay, not Chef Vashon. Mm -mm. I don't want you to be tasting soap. I want you to taste the food, okay? Cause it was prepared with love. In the kitchen with Chef Vashon. Alright, so let's check our skin. See our skin is nice and crisp. As you can see, it's not burned anything, but it's getting a nice golden brown tint to it. And then you can you can just see from here what I meant as far as it turning into a skin. This is it's gonna be brittle. The more I let it go, it oh man. So yeah, I'm gonna let this go just a tad bit longer. Cause that's what I want. I want it to be very crispy like bacon. Now, the way I'm gonna really have to take a little bit of this oil out so therefore it get very crisp. Cause as long as it's soaked, sitting, submerged in that uh, oil, it's gonna keep getting a little soggy. So that's another reason why I wanna get this. I'm gonna turn that up just a notch, okay? Now, since I washed my hands, I'm gonna use the uh, paper towel cause I wanna keep touching things. Now we're gonna cook off the uh, corn tortillas. So to do that, Add a little butter to my skillet. Just butter. With this one, I'm not gonna add any oil, I'm gonna do butter. Set my temperatures at a medium high heat. With anything, you should always be comfortable around a medium high heat. Shouldn't that, that's, a, that's a comfortable temperature, it's not too high, it's not too low, just, it's, it's comfortable, okay? Ooh, see, ooh, be careful around that grease. Whenever you're wearing one of these Chef Von Shine aprons, make sure you're careful around that grease, because this grease be hitting me now. Huh? But wanna do it? I told you, I'm gonna work my fingers down to the bone. I'm gonna get grease marks burnt on my back. I don't, hey, whatever. Whatever I got to do to make sure you get what you want. But listen, like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm gonna be on the SWTV network. That's Smile World TV, okay? Then I'm also, uh, you know, like I said, trying to get my YouTube channel uh, together, but Smile World TV uh, is the first company, as well as this junior billionaire company they're investing into Chef Von Shine. That's the move. That is the move. So start looking forward to seeing me on your Roku channel. For all of you that have a Roku TV, you're gonna start seeing Chef Von Shine doing a ton of things throughout your Roku station. Won't he do it? Yes. That's what we already got in the works. That's what's happening. I was on a Zoom call with them earlier. They like what I'm doing. They're supporting what I'm doing. So hey, won't he do it? Won't he do it? 
We finna be able to help me with my branding, help me make sure I get uh, the apparel for my hats, my aprons. Hey, and if you all would like chef coats, leave some comments. If you all, hey, want a chef coat with Chef Von Shine to let them know you get in the kitchen with Chef Von Shine, then you let me know, because won't we do it? Okay, so just to see, we're crispy in this off. We want this to be, this is nice and crispy. Now mind you, to get it even more, I'm gonna let that get as crisp as possible. We're gonna come back later, we're gonna use our knife to crunch it up, bread it up, crack it up, and spread it. But hey, so now I got my uh, heat, set at medium heat, got the butter going. So mind you, these are corn tortilla chips. You don't wanna eat them raw, but you ain't gotta cook them off too much. But how many of you all, do you all eat these raw? How you doing, uh, Jamari Hill? Hey, hey, mom, I see you watching. Uh, Nina Brown, Brother Hall, T. See, T, you were supposed to be coming over. Now, are you, are you on your way? You said you was gonna come over and get these fish tacos and try to get some of that up. Well, it ain't no more salmon from yesterday. We ate that. That's gone. That's a done dick. But uh, yeah, Brother T, if you, hey, you watching Brother T, uh, you better be on your way. T is the gentleman I was speaking about. If you all watched that when I was talking about co-parenting, T is the uh, gentleman, the king I was telling you all about. Phenomenal man. This man is amazing. When I see him around this young man, I just be so inspired. He's an amazing father to this young man. And uh, he came in. I have no... He's just an amazing father. He's uh, He came into this young man's life, took over as a father. And uh, it's just a blessing to see a king uh, with that sort of energy with a child. And it's not biologically his. And I had no idea the, the young man looked exactly like him. I don't know what the young man father looks like, but I know he got a problem with Brother T, because uh, <laughs> he looked like T. But uh, yeah, King, I am so impressed by how you are with that young man. I am very impressed. I was with him yesterday, and I just continued to watch him, and I was just amazed at how he is with that young man. Shout out to my Brother T. You do an amazing job. An amazing job. I admire that. This is what this is about. This is about black love. Black lives matter, black love, and we want to be able to advocate everything that we possibly can. But if I can, if I can clarify any message, it's black love. I love to see that. I love it. I love it, T. That was beautiful, brother. All right, so listen. So my corn tortilla shells, I'm cooking it off in my butter. Hey, because that's what my mama used to do. Hey, my mama used to, uh, my mama, her favorite restaurant in Chicago was uh, Peppy's Tacos. They have some very good tacos, but they high. High as that thing. So we ain't gonna be spending all our money like that. But that's my mother's favorite uh, taco uh, uh, place to get tacos from in the city, Peppy's. Shout out to Chicago. Uh, yeah, so that's where they, I love, that's where I also got the idea of util utilizing corn tortilla shells when I make mine. All right, won't he do it? Won't he do it? So that was my objective, to put the butter in here, get them nice and going. Mind you, still letting these get crispy, because won't he do it? <laughs> won't he do it? See, now, this is where I wanted it to be, too. This is nice, nice and crispy. See that now? Nice and crispy. Now you see it ain't bending or nothing. Now that's where I wanted. That's what I was going for. Nice, crisp, wow. Now you can see what that's gonna do. And it ain't burnt, like, ooh, nice golden brown. All right, but I'm gonna have to take it out of this grease, because then the longer I let it sit in that grease, it's gonna get too soft. Okay, take it out your grease. Cut our aisle off. I know y'all like, hey, Chef Von Shine, this wasn't number street tacos, okay? Okay, but listen, but we're making them out of salmon. Woo. Woo. So, as you can see, now I'm gonna utilize this as garnishing, as well as the rest of these things as garnishing. So now, I'm gonna show you all how I plate this up and go from there. Because a lot of times I go out and I never show you my plate up. I can't show you at all, but I'm going to show you I'm going to doctor this taco up. And Brother T, hopefully you're on your way to come and get some of this. Because you see I got all this taco filling, okay? You with Chef Von Shine, stop paying attention. Subscribe, like, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And uh, also I'm going to be on the SW TV network, Smile World TV. That's on your local road to channel, okay? All right. So, as you can see... Put a little butter in here, cooking off our corn tortillas. We're good, ladies and gentlemen, we're good. All my kings and queens out there, we are good. We're gonna do this, so now I got, this is where the consistency I was going for. Okay, now I'm also gonna take this out of this butter. Cause see, I like, when, when you bite into mine, now, if I wanted to crispy it up, 
Because I, what I also think is good when you're doing tortilla shells is get one side to be crisp and keep the other one where it's still soft. That way I can still bend it and give you both of the textures that I like to be able to balance out too. A little bit of softness and a little bit of crunch. Won't he do it? Won't he do it? So, Chef I Shine, using my pinky. I'm gonna have to let this sit. All right, so. Now, I got all this stuff in my way. Usually I clean up my kitchen, then go in to plate things up. So I'm gonna have to move, move a few things out of the way, but then from there, we're gonna do it. But what Chef Vashon gotta do, who's paying attention? How you doing, Miss Pickles? How you doing, Miss Whitney Tyrone? How you doing, beautiful queen? Uh, Bianca? Now listen, it says, uh, shout out to Chicago. You already know. Pe okay, Pepe's, you like Pepe's? B Bianca, Pepe's got some amazing tacos. Uh, brother uh, Kendrick Carter, save me some. I'll be up there later. Kendrick Carter is the uh, young man who came through yesterday. Beautiful soul. Hey, Kendrick, I just got off the phone with, uh, I was on the Zoom meeting. We're going to be on the SWTV channel, Smile World TV. I uh, also spoke with uh, the lady that's going to help you with that uh, podcast, Real Rap Podcast. It's we. It's official. <laughs> Chef Vashon, check out my YouTube channel and everything. The companies are reaching out and keep praying for me. Those that are praying for any any type of positivity to happen in my life, because it's happened. And won't he do it? Let me wash my hands and get y'all together. But won't he do it? Yes. Bianca, you already know. Five. She said it's five. I love peppers. But it's high though. Bianca, you know it's high. So what I'm finna do is this. Yes, sir. We will, Mr. Carter. You need to come. I've, I've been speaking with people. I literally just got off a Zoom call, brother. I got off a Zoom call and it's working. That's why I kind of started this up a little late. Because I'm, hey, I got to do business. So these aprons, these hats, as well as another, a few other different apparel, we coming with it. I, the lady know that I love to dress. So she's going to help me with maybe getting some bow ties and pocket squares. She said, I like what you got going on. I said, well, hey, won't he do it? <laughs> won't he do it? Now, because if you pay attention to me, sometimes you see me in the trenches, but if you know me, then you know I'm a very reserved man. So all the things that I can be able to implement, she says she's willing to work with me. So listen, let's get that going. Now, with that being said, I'm going to put a little bit. Now, you've seen I washed my hands. So, but put a little bit of the meat in there. Yeah, mind you. This is just a filler, okay? This, let me use this. This is just a filler in itself, okay? This already has some, look at that. I ain't even put nothing else on that. You see what I'm saying? I haven't even put anything else on there. That's just strictly the green onions. You gotta, those are just different colors giving you that. Now watch this, I'm just gonna throw this on there as well. Now watch what's gonna, it's, it's just start, it'll start coming to life on its own. I'm just, I, watch this, as we go, it's just gonna come to life. It would have been actually more ideal for me to put a little bit of spinach in there now. But hey, won't he do it? Now I'm gonna just go ahead. Actually, I'm gonna break a little bit of this spinach up to, uh, to so that way I don't take away from too much of that. But just still put it in there. So let me show you all. Like I said, all we're doing, we finna, we finna go. They say like, shit, my son, that's starting to look like a salad. Won't he do it? Won't he do it? For all that's tuning in, this is a street taco, okay? Okay, so that's salmon. We have green onions, we have spinach, we have uh, red peppers, orange peppers, yellow peppers. Won't he do it? Okay. Now I'm gonna incorporate a little sweet relish. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> today I'm fired up. Hey, listen, you better come and get this, Kendrick Carter, because today Chef Von Shine, you, hey, you seen what I did yesterday. Stay in tune. Now, you're supposed to have your mise and plies together. Mise and plies is making sure that you have everything here. I shouldn't be having to go from here to there and do different things. Mise and plage, I should have it all right here together. But as you can see, when you're in the kitchen with Chef Von Shine, I gotta go on the fly, because I want you all to know what happens in the kitchen. So, add me a little bit of this relish. Add me a little bit of that sweet relish. Not too much, but hey. So when you think of the reason why I did the relish, hey, for all that like tuna, how many of you all out there like tuna? How many of you out there like tuna? Because if you like tuna, then you understand sweet relish. You understand what sweet relish can do. Actually, even with this particular dish, guess what Chef Von Shine could do? Add a boiled egg. Add a boiled egg. How many of you all like tuna? I, I could put mayonnaise with this. I could almost turn this into a, hey, a tuna. Because mind you, this is fish. This is salmon. So we can play with it. So don't, don't, don't be so 
boxed in to think that you got to do one thing. When you're in the kitchen with Chef Von Shine, you experiment. Utilize your culinary creative skills. We are culinary artists in the kitchen, okay? All right. So mind you, I put a little bit of that sweet relish. See, I like to see how it's coming together so you can see it. Because won't he do it? <laughs> won't he do it? Okay, so you see, okay, so mind you, that's what's happening with that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and throw in that spice. Woo! Now how I put this in there is gonna determine, I'm gonna layer this up. I'm gonna layer this. I'm gonna layer this like so. So therefore, with that, I'm gonna layer like that so that way throughout the entire bite, you get that spice. You get every one of the hits that I was going for. Now, okay. All right, you know what? Now this will be the time I'm in court. Actually, you know what, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait on that because if I put the uh, skin in there now and I get the added sauces, it's gonna make it a little soggy and I don't want that, okay? So listen, we do not want that. So with this right here, now go to my go-to, put a little bit of that cheese in there. I'm gonna put it to the side though. Just a little bit. Not too much of this cheese. What's going on? I like my music. What's going on? Come on, Mr. Saxophone. That's we go. See? Okay, listen, it's a difference. You gotta have some jazz in there. I like to put a little jazz to just make it a little soft, okay? Follow me. Okay, now, back to what I was saying. Put the cheese sauce on the side. This will be the actual time that I uh, take the uh, sour cream and put it on the side with the, uh, put it on the side with the uh, uh, cheese sauce as well. I would have done a little better job, but hey, I'm trying to hurry up and show you all how I'm gonna do this. So, we got the spinach, we have the different peppers, we have the jalapenos, the sour cream. I've also put the cheese all to the side. Mind you, it's to the side, because just in case if the customer say, I don't like that chef, I say, okay, scoop it off, okay? I try. <laughs> <Can't hit laughs> hey, won't he do it? Nah, but listen, this is the secret sauce that I would just come back with and go ahead and, <laughs> and dazzle it up. Okay, so that's why even though right now you look like with Chef Von Shine, they don't look all fancy like you usually do. I know, because that's what I do this with. So that's what I'm saying. So anytime I got any type of device that has this sort of nozzle, this is where I can bring out all of that extra pizzazz that I like to do when it comes to uh, plating up some of my uh, dishes. So mind you, and if I didn't have this, you can always go and get, wait. You can always go and get some of these different um, uh, things so therefore this was a cocktail sauce that I had made to go with that uh, shrimp scampi so uh, Brother Reese Alexander it was not ketchup. It's a cocktail sauce <laughs> Won't he do it? <laughs> no, nah, brother Reese, I really appreciate you for watching and being in tune uh, So hey stay in tune with Chef Von Shine because this is about teaching kings too. We sh in the kitchen It's iron sharpens iron. Okay, we make each other better. So with that being said uh, you know what? Now would be a good time for me to see. Oh, uh, you must be watching, brother. Hey, how you doing, Miss Blue? How you? Hey, they got my son out there. Huh, Swervo? Swervo? I see you, son. See? Now you're in the kitchen with your dad. Your dad finna be on the uh, Smile World TV channel, son. You hear that? Yeah. Dad done... <laughs> Dad is going to be on the Roku channel. Do you have a Roku TV, son? I know you got a lot of TVs in our house, but do you got a Roku TV? Because if you do, son, your daddy finna be on the Roku channel, and it's called uh, SWTV, Smile World TV. Then also make sure that you all like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. So, son, what I did with this, uh, Miss uh, Erica Dickerson, I think it is. Am I saying it right? Hopefully I'm saying your name right, Queen. And uh, Queen EJ, you know I always get you wrong. Hopefully you tuned in too, queen, because I always say, yeah, what's up, brother? And you're actually a beautiful queen, and I'm sorry about that, okay? So, crushed up the skin, the toppings of that, and uh, yeah, Miss Blue, shout out to Miss Blue. We ain't gonna do no bloopers today. So what I'm gonna do now is come back. Well, gotta take the top off. I'm like, dang, I know I got a little sauce in here. Okay, so, come back with that. Come back with that. Go ahead and incorporate my different cheeses. Now, mind you, look at this now. Here. Well, also, what we got to do is this. Whenever you plate up, you got to make sure. In the kitchen, we always keep us a nice, uh, we get keep a clean rag, a clean towel to the side, so therefore, we can wipe off the sides if it ever get complicated, okay? All right. So, dazzle up with a little bit of cheese. Boom. Okay. A little bit of this Monterey. 
Now also, this would have been a good time for me to incorporate some black beans, etc. But mind you, did not have my mise en place, so hey, won't he do it? I gotta do it. So, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, now you have a street taco from yours truly, Chef Von Shine. Let me give y'all a real good close up on that. All right, see? So that right there is a street taco, ladies and gentlemen. From yours truly, Chef Von Shine. This has sweet relish. This has jalapeno. This has this uh, secret smokehouse seasoning, as well as uh, this uh, Hers Blanco uh, queso dip. We have the plethora of the different seasonings. So for you all that's watching it, I created a seasoning from scratch. I started with a salt, sea salt, a little bit of granulated chicken just because I wanted to knock off that fishiness. I did a smoked paprika inside of it. I also put black pepper. I also incorporated accent salt. I've also incorporated champion chicken because mind you, I want to get away from that fishiness. So to get that uh, salmon to get away from that, this is why we incorporated it. I also utilized ground coriander and then I also utilized ground cumin. All right. So these spices right here. Depending on how you want to go about them, these spices are done from scratch. All right, so this is my way of doing so. But chili powder would have been ideal, but to substitute the chili powder, I use the smoked paprika, and then I also utilize this champion chicken and this ground coriander. So that's, that's what the, uh, instead of utilizing the chili, I went ahead and went with it. But that's what this is all about, being able to take your own spices and go from scratch. But ground cumin, anytime you are, it's almost that season. So cumin... And coriander, if you want to be making chili seasonings from scratch, taco seasonings from scratch, use ground cumin. And this is the Great Value brand. And trust me, do not get caught into brands, ladies and gentlemen. Utilize, Great Value has a lot of good products. So don't get too caught up and think, well, that's just Great Value. Yeah, it's a good, Great Value at a good price. But these right here are the spices that I utilize to make it from scratch. And then, like I said, so therefore, to be able to give you that. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is a street taco from yours true. From yours true. So, like I said, we in the kitchen with Chef Von Shine. Hey, we take our time and we like and subscribe to his YouTube channel, Chef Von Shine. I'm finna be on the SWTV, so start paying attention to me. If you guys got Roku TVs, you got smart TVs, hey, we finna take this to the next level. So start now. Like and subscribe my YouTube channel and make sure that when you say Joe Wayne, you put some respect on it. Because won't he do it? Hey, mama. Hey, you in the kitchen with Chef Von Shine. So with these aprons and these hats and different apparel that's looking forward to it, and tune in because we're going places. Won't he do it?